Hi guys, let's talk books. And today I want to talk about book organization because I need to organize my books. <laughs> so, uh, quick background. I just moved into this house um, early 2018 and um, I don't have all of my grad school books with me. Uh, those are, most of those are actually in Kansas, but I do have um, four shelves upstairs with mostly academic books. Um, there is one bookshelf that is entirely just fiction, not necessarily academic related. Um, and I've decided that in that shelf, I'm just gonna put all the books I've already read so far right now. We also put these two bookshelves down here with the books that I've been buying over the course of like the last year when I finally got back into heavy fiction reading for fun. <laughs> so um, there's right now this is not very well organized. I have two rows of shelves with books that I'll show you in a second. And then the bottom two rows, I just put DVDs. Mostly because I didn't have a place to put all these DVDs and there was empty space on the shelves. But now, um, and actually as you might be able to tell based on my clothing, I just finished filming a two-part haul that should already be up on my channel. So I need a space on these shelves for those books. So I have come up with a strategy and I'll show it to you. My strategy was to put all these DVDs uh, or take them out of their cases, right? I have everything in here um, in their cases. And so I'm gonna take them out of their cases, throw the cases out, because nobody needs that. And why is this still half? I never watched this DVD, oh goodness, all right. Um, take these out of their cases and put them in like a sleeve. I was just gonna get a big kind of binder, um, like I think we all used to have. But I went on Amazon and I found these great little things. Now, um, I'll link them below, but it looks like a book. So I thought this would go really well, still fit on my shelves, won't look out of place. But then inside, it has all these like little space. So you can put your DVDs in there. Um, so let me show you the shelves and then I will kind of bring you along as I organize some of this stuff. So these are the two shelves that I have down here. I want to give you a full shot of this. So on the bottom I have games. So down here I, I just have games. Those will probably stay for now. Um, but a little bit of a shelfy tour <laughs> here. Um, so up here I have some of my boyfriend's books. Um, then all of these are mine. And these are kind of newer stuff I've been buying in the last probably year, year and a half. Um, I had a couple books here that I just pulled out. I've got my Harry Potters, my British editions of Harry Potter over here along with my uh, one French edition. And then I have all of my um, Linda Castillo um, series over here. Um, what's an, it's the um, Brooke Holder series, I think it is. Um, it, they all take place in Amish country, really into the series right now. Then I have a couple in Spanish over here. Then I have some like random romance and cozy mysteries that I've stacked up. I stack them like this. I usually don't like stacking, but I stack these um, because um, I needed to to make room. <laughs> oh, what is this Pride and Prejudice doing over here? Oh, I just really like this edition of the classics. And when I saw this, I saw this one at the Ripped Bodice. I just had to pick it up. And then I have Hidden Bodies, Pretty Monsters. So none of these have been read. These are all TBR books waiting to be read. Then in the next two shelves down here, I have DVDs. I am a big fan of The West Wing. Um, used to watch Mad Men, True Blood. I have a lot of True Blood, or not a lot of True Blood, but I have some Bones, Criminal Minds. Then my snobby shelf with all my foreign um, DVDs, including all, I think these are all my French films. I like to charge my students with. Uh, then kind of my more kind of fun, popular movies. And this is a mixture of the ones that I had and then my boyfriend had. When we moved in together, we merged our collections. Um, and the merger, I won't lie, I took over the merger. <laughs> Most of these are mine. 
Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna put all of the ones that are single DVDs um, in that book sleeve. I'm going to leave all the ones that are TV shows in their individual boxes. So let's get started. Okay, now I'm just gonna get started and I'm gonna start with my French DVDs because those need to be in like a prize spot. Don't worry, I'm not gonna torture you with footage of me doing every single DVD. I just wanna show you, give you a quick uh, show of how I am doing this. Um, some of these DVDs have things that like information you might not be able to find anywhere else because somebody wrote a special like info sesh like this one night and fog it's a um holocaust documentary and it has lots of information here that like you don't want to get lost i don't want getting lost so i this is the thing that i will make exceptions for so anyways i'll keep doing this and i'll check back in with you in a little bit okay so, <laughs> I feel like I just ran a mile, but I didn't really update. So one of the um, books sleeves is fully packed um, and it's got all of my French films, all of my foreign films, and all of my snobby films. <laughs> I went through a period in which I was su a super snob about movies um, and watched a lot of good stuff actually. The second book that I got is almost filled. I have four sleeves that are open, um, and each one of them ha can hold four DVDs. Um, so that gives me some space to put a few more in. And I also, uh, when I ordered it, it came with these eight replacement pages. So that'll be great. I'll probably will be using them. Uh, I haven't put every DVD I own into, into one of the books. Um, I could order one more book. And um, I think that would fit um, most of what I have left. But let me show you. Why don't I just show you on the shelves what I have left? So I left the two shelves up here with books I already had intact. I'm not adding anything into those pieces because there's other books that are going to go there. Um, but this shelf has um, some of these books already. And I think I'm going to change the order of these because I think I want these hardbacks over here. Um, but anyways. <laughs> I left all my West Wing and Mad Men up in this shelf and then put these book, books there. These are all also TV shows, TV series. I left them here with one of the books. Then um, the second book. Then I had this little like CD case that has also DVDs and CDs. I'd already had them in there. I don't know if I'll pull them out. I need to think about that one. But then I left all these over here. Why did I leave these here? So um, all of my like Jane Austen adaptations, I left out in their DVDs because some of these are so pretty. Like look at this one. This is like a book, like a really gorgeous book. So that like I feel needs to be displayed. Oh, it's absurd. Eventually these will all come out, I think. I'll just go ahead and put them in a book um, in the sleeves. I left all of these. Um, some of these are actually telenovelas that I have on DVD. So I wasn't sure whether I should count them as TV series or not. I probably won't. Um, and I'll probably end up putting them in sleeves as well. This VHS that I have. I have no VH VHS player with me here. I have one in Kansas, but no good there. Um, then some of these. Right now there's not a whole lot of order um, to ha ha to the way I have these out here but that's gonna have to be for a different day I think and by the way I thought the dogs were gonna be hanging out with me over here oh this is the stack of DVDs so I was saying I thought the dogs were gonna want to hang out with me um, down there when I was um, putting things away but they did not and instead they're over there <laughs> so just a quick shot of the dogs oh there we are There's my babies. Anyway, that was me organizing my bookshelves, uh, putting my DVDs into the sleeves. Um, maybe not that exciting of a video, but I'm an organization person.
person. I love all organization stuff. So let me know um, what you do to organize your DVDs and your books. Um, and maybe I'll take some ideas from y'all and then um, as I reorganize things on that shelf. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!